Hey guys, it's Big Boy JC on Motivated Fitness. Uh, it's been uh, two weeks uh, since I started taking uh, my B Epic uh, vitamins and stuff like that. My sleep is a lot better. Um, I'm getting more sleep now. Days I'm not waking up as many times throughout the night, which is good. Um, I'm not feeling as tired throughout the day. I'm not uh, falling asleep at work, so my coworkers can't take any more uh, pictures of me sleeping at my desk, uh, which is a good thing. I haven't really uh, started counting calories. Uh, today is my first day back at work this week, so I planned on uh, starting uh, uh, counting calories with uh, my fitness pal today. Uh, that was a big help. The last time I lost uh, a big chunk of weight, counting calories is uh, just the name of the game. You know, I don't care what kind of uh, diet program or weight loss tool you use. Uh, you still got to count those calories and get used to uh, uh, knowing what you're putting in your body every day based off of your current weight. So uh, today I'm going to implement that when I get to work. If it's not busy, which it shouldn't be because it's raining. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and uh, get that going again. Um, I have been kinda changing the foods I eat, but I haven't been keeping track of them, so my weight's been about the same. I lost a couple of pounds uh, since then, but today I'm getting ready to uh, uh, start counting those calories. I've been, I've been waiting for today to get here. Uh, yesterday, I ate beef a couple of times. Uh, I had some uh, corn on the cob, which is a no-no, so I was saying bye-bye to corn on the cob because I won't eat any of that uh, from now on for a while, and I had a uh, half of a baked potato with some lemon juice and lemon pepper on it uh, last night, so I won't have any more of those either, so today is the first day of uh, eating clean. So I've been prepping myself for it. If you guys go back and watch some of my older videos about uh, preparing yourself uh, for weight loss. Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn my radar detector on because I haven't had it on yet. I'm running a little bit late to work, so I gotta push it to the limit a little. Um, yeah, if you guys go back and watch some of those videos, I got a series of like five videos uh, that kind of tell you how to uh, plan your weight loss journey so you don't have any uh, hiccups along the way or don't have any uh, places that's going to stall you from your progress so you got to know ahead of time like right now we're in uh, uh, September so that gives me a good you know two months eight weeks or so to get acclimated into my uh, weight loss program or more before Thanksgiving comes along because you know on Thanksgiving you're gonna you're gonna eat a little bit so you gotta plan for those things. You know, you can't just go through life and not have those indulgences. So you gotta plan for them ahead of time. So like what I'm trying to say is, in one of my videos, I say pick your start time for your weight loss journey. So that way you don't have, you know, where you start and then two weeks later you got a birthday party or you got Thanksgiving or you got New Year's Eve or you got something like that. Two weeks is not a long enough time for you to get acclimated to your new, uh, meal plans or diet or what have you and you know keep it going so you want to be there longer than that and then plan for that and know that you have a, a day coming up where you're gonna you're gonna cheat a little bit it's gonna knock you back for the day but then the next day you get right back to where you were and uh, you won't even you won't even notice the thing you might notice how you feel different when you eat some of those foods but you're not gonna notice a, a big change in your uh, you know your weight or anything like that so plan ahead that was one get a plan date that you know you're not going to be disrupted you know within a couple of weeks down the line and one of the other videos talked about uh, getting your house ready cleaning up your house taking bad foods that you might have in there that might tempt you to eat something that you're not uh, you know clean up your house get your castle ready for war uh, get your army ready for war. Your army ready for war is the people around you. Uh, maybe your family at home, your friends, your co-workers, you know, let them know ahead of time, hey, I'm getting ready to start uh, this diet. 
get ready to start losing weight. It's real important to me. It means a lot to me, and I don't want to be be rude if you guys ask me to go out to eat and say no. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time what my plan is and, and why maybe I'm not, you know, going out to lunch with you guys as much or hanging out with you guys as much because I'm, you know, I got something on my mind. You know, it's better for my health. It's better for my family. It's better, you know, it's better for me overall, you know, especially when you you got up there to 479 pounds like I was and, you know, death is knocking on your door. You know, you got to let these people know, hey, I want to be around, you know, with you longer, enjoy more times with you, uh, you know, enjoy my family longer and stuff like that. So help me, you know, ask them to help you out. Don't ask you to go out to eat. Don't bring you foods that they know you don't want to eat because you're on this weight loss pro program. And it's hard when somebody brings you something, you know, out of love or friendship and they want you to you know, have fun eating it and, and stuff like that, but, you know, they don't realize, some people don't realize, unless they have a weight uh, problem themselves, they don't realize what they're doing to you, you know, being uh, where I was, I mean, you're almost addicted to food, food is your drug, and you can't, you can't kick it, and I talk about that in another video, about how food is a drug and it's uh, habitual and it's uh, it's something you got to have to survive so it's the most dangerous and hardest uh, uh, habit to kick you know when you're trying to eat right and eat for health and uh, you know eat for weight loss and stuff like that so anyways I'm driving to work so I'm talking a little bit about everything but I just wanted to say hey to you guys today uh, have a good day it's really like my Monday, but it's Wednesday for you guys. So hope you have a good rest of the week. And uh, remember to keep putting one foot in front of the other and uh, you'll eventually get there. And if you uh, take a little bit of time to get there, you're gonna stay there a lot longer than, uh, you know, trying to hurry up and uh, get there in uh, a few months time. So keep that in mind. And uh, I'll see you guys on uh, Sunday. I'll do that weigh-in. I've had a couple of things come up the past couple of Sundays, and I haven't had any days off until yesterday. So uh, I'm going to get those videos going back for you. And uh, if you want to see some other kind of video, let me know down in the description below. And I'll see if I can make that happen for you guys. So anyway, have a good day. I'll see you later.